Well, I've got another board game for you today, folks. Just a simple lesson about Monopoly. Now, this one is a special edition. It's a Spider-Man Monopoly, as you can see. I got this probably 20 years ago, almost, in Port Lincoln in South Australia, whenever I was out there for a couple of years. And Monopoly, of course, is a firm favourite uh, for many game players. It's one of the oldest and most well-known board games uh, that there is, especially commercially. Uh, it came out in 1935, so it's been out for a long, long time, and I am told is available in some 37 different languages. And it's gone through many, many editions. There's a traditional one, there's a cheater's edition that we have, and we've played it. Uh, it was a wee bit beyond me, a wee bit too complicated for uh, this brain of mine. But you know, it's a great old game, Monopoly. And you go around the board, you try to get as much property as you can. You try to buy everybody else out, get everybody else into debt and accumulate as much property as you can. That's how many people live their lives, of course, on this earth as well. But the word monopoly, it means the domination of the market by a single entity. The domination of the market by a single entity. And whenever somebody has dominated the market on the board game here, uh, that individual wins the game. Whenever they get the monopoly over everybody else, uh, then they have won the game. You know, the story is told, I'm sure some of you will know it, about the famous evangelist D.L. Moody. He was a great man of God, mightily used of God. Many people loved him, but of course, others were jealous and covetous of his ministry and how the Lord blessed him. And the story is told that a number of men were seated one night in a room and they were talking, they were Christian men, about the ministry of D.L. Moody. And as they were talking, one of them got visibly agitated and rose from his seat and raised his voice and asked the question to his brethren, does D.L. Moody have a monopoly on the Holy Ghost? And one of the more gracious and wiser men said, no, brother, but the Holy Ghost has a monopoly on D.L. Moody. And therein was the secret of the success of his ministry. D.L. Moody, nor anybody else uh, born of woman, uh, can have a monopoly on the Holy Ghost. Nobody can dominate the Holy Spirit and have all of the Holy Spirit that it is possible to have. Whenever the Bible speaks about being filled with the Spirit, there's always the potential to grow in grace. There's always room for more. There's always room for improvement and growth and development in the Christian life. But the great challenge is this. Does the Holy Spirit have all of us? Does the Holy Spirit have the monopoly in your life? Does the Holy Spirit dominate your heart? Does the single entity of the eternal God possess you fully? Or are you holding back? You know, the challenge to every child of God is absolute surrender, consecration, the taking up of the cross so that the Spirit of God can anoint us and fill us and use us. I trust today that the Lord will challenge you about where you are as a Christian as he has challenged my heart as well. And we trust that our lives might be fully yielded and fully surrendered to him, that we might know the influence of the Spirit of God in our lives, especially if we're involved in some form of Christian witness and service. We will never have a monopoly on the Holy Ghost. No church, no denomination, no Christian, no individual or organisation can have a monopoly on the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit, I trust and I do believe, can have a monopoly upon us. He can possess us in all of his fullness and take control of our lives and use us for his glory. May God bless these simple thoughts to your hearts today and hopefully we will see you again very soon. God bless friends and stay safe.